Have you ever wondered how video streaming transformed the way we consume entertainment? Let's take a moment to reflect on this. Think back to a time when our entertainment was largely dictated by the schedules of cable television. We were at the mercy of broadcasters, waiting for our favorite shows to air, and rushing home to catch a movie premiere. But then came a seismic shift in the landscape of entertainment, a shift that would forever change the way we experience TV shows and movies. This shift, my friends, was the rise of online streaming platforms. These digital platforms broke the shackles of scheduled programming, granting us the freedom to watch what we want, when we want, and how we want. We were no longer passive spectators but active consumers, curating our entertainment. This transformation, as you might have guessed, didn't happen overnight. It was a gradual process, fueled by the vision and tenacity of certain individuals who dared to challenge the status quo. One such individual stands out as a true pioneer in this revolution. His name is Reed Hastings, the co-founder and chief executive officer of Netflix. Netflix, as we know it, has become synonymous with streaming entertainment. But it wasn't always this digital giant that we see today. It started as a simple idea in the mind of Reed Hastings, an idea to make entertainment more accessible, more personal, and more enjoyable. He envisioned a world where the viewer is in control, where entertainment is not a privilege but a right, and he turned this vision into a reality. But how did Reed Hastings transform Netflix from a DVD rental service into the global streaming behemoth it is today? What challenges did he face along the way? And what impact has his journey had on the entertainment industry as a whole? These are the questions we will be exploring in this series. Today, we take a deep dive into the journey of Reed Hastings, the mastermind behind Netflix. Let's embark on this exciting journey together and discover the story behind the evolution of entertainment. Our story begins in the late 90s with a hefty $40 late fee for a DVD, a penalty that would forever change the face of home entertainment. It was this incurred cost that sparked a revolutionary idea in the mind of Reed Hastings, an idea that would eventually become the global phenomenon we know as Netflix. Hastings, a software entrepreneur, was irked by the $40 late fee from Blockbuster for the movie Apollo 13. He found the fee system to be punitive and inconvenient. It was this irritation that led him to envision a different, more customer-friendly approach to video rental. In the year 1997, Reed Hastings, along with Mark Randolph, decided to bring this vision to life and thus Netflix was born. The initial business model was simple, but innovative. DVD rental by mail. The idea was to provide a flat fee unlimited rentals without due dates, late fees or shipping and handling fees. An idea that was ahead of its time and was met with skepticism, but Hastings and Randolph were not deterred. They believed in their model and were confident that it could disrupt the traditional video rental industry. They started with a modest inventory, a handful of employees and a lot of determination. The company initially operated out of Scotts Valley, California, shipping DVDs to customers in prepaid envelopes. It was a slow start, but it laid the foundation for a new era in home entertainment. Netflix wasn't an immediate success, but Hastings and Randolph were patient. They understood that innovation takes time and were prepared for the long haul. They focused on providing excellent customer service and a unique user experience. Word slowly started to spread, and the customer base began to grow. The early years of Netflix were not without their challenges, but the company persevered. They continued to innovate and adapt, always keeping the customer at the heart of their business model. Little did they know, this mail-order DVD service was just the beginning. Fast forward to 2007, Netflix was about to make a move that would shake the industry to its core. The world was evolving, and so was entertainment. A time had come when the days of waiting for a DVD to arrive in the mail were becoming a thing of the past, and Netflix, under the visionary leadership of Reed Hastings, was ready to pivot. The company was about to make a daring transition from DVD rentals to streaming, but change, as we all know, is rarely easy. There were significant challenges to overcome, the most daunting was the technological hurdle. Remember, this was 2007. High-speed internet was not as ubiquitous as it is today. Buffering was a household term. Netflix had to make sure that their streaming service would work smoothly, even on slower connections. It was a monumental task. Yet, under Reed Hastings' guidance, Netflix was undeterred. They invested heavily in research and development, working tirelessly to create a streaming service that was not only functional, but also user-friendly. They were determined to make watching movies and TV shows online as easy and enjoyable as possible. Then came the issue of securing the rights to stream content. 
It was a tricky legal maze to navigate, filled with negotiations and contracts. But again with Hastings at the helm, Netflix managed to secure deals with major studios and distributors. They were building their library, brick by brick. There was also the challenge of changing consumer habits. People were used to renting DVDs. The idea of watching content online was still novel. Netflix had to convince their customers to make the switch. And they did. By offering a vast selection of titles and unlimited streaming for a flat monthly fee. Netflix's transition to streaming was a journey filled with obstacles. But with resilience, innovation and a clear vision, they were able to turn these challenges into opportunities. Under the leadership of Reed Hastings, Netflix not only survived the transition, but thrived. Netflix was now more than a rental service, it was a streaming giant. With the success of streaming, Netflix had another card to play, original content. In the ever-evolving landscape of entertainment, standing out from the crowd is a daunting task. Yet Netflix, under the visionary leadership of Reed Hastings, saw an opportunity to diversify and set itself apart. The decision to invest in original content was a bold and pioneering move. It was a gamble, but one that paid off handsomely. The concept of creating original content was not merely about offering new shows and movies. It was a strategic move to gain a competitive edge in a saturated market. By producing its own content, Netflix could control its narrative, dictate its pace, and steer its creative direction. No longer was the streaming giant solely dependent on external studios or distributors. It was now a major player in the entertainment industry, both as a platform and as a content creator. The success of Netflix Originals is a testament to this strategic shift. Shows like Stranger Things, The Crown, and Narcos have not only garnered critical acclaim but also attracted a global audience. These original series with their compelling narratives and high production values have become synonymous with the Netflix brand. They have helped Netflix carve out a unique identity, setting it apart from its competitors. Simultaneously, Netflix embarked on a journey of global expansion. It was no longer a service confined to the United States. Reed Hastings had a vision of connecting people across the globe through the power of storytelling. Today, Netflix operates in over 190 countries, offering a diverse range of content catering to different cultures and languages. This global expansion has not only widened Netflix's customer base, but also enriched its content library with foreign films and series. Under Hastings' guidance, Netflix was not just streaming content, but creating it and sharing it with the world. His visionary leadership has transformed Netflix into a global entertainment powerhouse, shaping the way we consume content today. From a late DVD rental to a global entertainment empire, Reed Hastings has indeed come a long way, his journey began in 1997 with a simple concept, renting DVDs by mail. The idea was revolutionary at the time, and it was the first step in Reed's vision to change the way we consume entertainment. As the CEO of Netflix, Reed Hastings has been instrumental in driving the company's growth and evolution. His leadership style is one that encourages innovation, creativity, and risk-taking. He's not afraid to make bold moves like when he decided to split the DVD and streaming services, a decision that was initially met with a backlash but ultimately paved the way for Netflix's dominance in the streaming industry. Reed's vision for Netflix was always about more than just renting DVDs or streaming movies. He saw the potential for a service that could provide endless entertainment options tailored to the individual preferences of each user. Under his leadership, Netflix has become a powerhouse of original content, producing critically acclaimed series and films that have won numerous awards and captivated audiences worldwide. But Reed's impact extends beyond Netflix. His pioneering work in the streaming industry has fundamentally changed the landscape of entertainment. He believed in the power of the internet to deliver content, at a time when many were skeptical. Now, streaming is the norm, and traditional cable television is on the decline. Reed Hastings' legacy is one of innovation, vision, and disruption. He saw a future for entertainment that many couldn't imagine, and he had the courage and determination to make it a reality. His journey with Netflix is a testament to the power of a great idea, the importance of strong leadership, and the impact of relentless innovation. Reed Hastings didn't just create Netflix, he revolutionized the way we watch television and movies, and the rest as they say is streaming history.